and welcome to the Pro Bike Kit Buyer's Guides. Today we're going to look at wheels. We're going to look at the different types and the different price points that are available to you at the Pro Bike Kit website. This is your standard clincher wheel. They're the most commonly used. They range from your real basic entry level stuff all the way through to your super pricey wheels. They're used in conjunction with a standard road tyre and inner tube. Okay, next up's your tubular wheels. These usually at the higher price point, mid to higher price point. A lot of the time they're carbon. These are, these are basically your sexy wheels. The ride characteristics compared to a standard clincher is slightly different as well. Apparently a lot of people find them a lot more supple and they apparently roll a little bit better as well, a little bit faster. This is where you get a lot of guys, a lot of professionals racing on them. Lastly, we've got the new kids on the block, the tubulous wheel. These, again, look very similar to the clinchers, yet they differ in that the tyre and the rim work together to produce an airtight seal. You don't need an inner tube. It, because of this, it reduces punctures and again, you get a little bit of a better ride quality, a little bit more supple. Right, now it's time to have a look at the uh, different price points of wheels, what you get for your hard earned cash. Starting with your sort of basic entry level wheel, you're, you're probably looking at getting an alloy rim, steel spokes, uh, an alloy hub and a steel freer body where the cassette sits. Your bearings inside, make it nice and smooth, will probably be of a, a lower grade to your, to your higher end wheels. Wheels like this, um, you're looking at for sort of training, uh, doing sportives. Uh, weight wise, you're going to get a penalty obviously, uh, but they'd be about 1800 grams on average for a pair. They're like I say, great for training or doing the odd sportive. Right, mid range wheels this time. These ones are sort of aimed at uh, the guys who are going to want to be a little bit faster racing guys. Good solid sets of wheels. These are going to be lighter than your entry level wheels. Again, you're looking at an alloy rim, alloy spokes or steel spokes again, and an alloy hub. The bearings inside will be of a better quality, spin better, uh, obviously, so that's going to uh, help with not having to put as much power out to go as fast. Again, a steel or an alloy free hub body for your cassette. Weight wise, you're looking at about knocking at least 300, 400 grams off a set. Finally, it's the uh, top end wheels. These are the ones where you're going to be spending a bit of money, the sort of money that if your wife find out, you're probably going to get in trouble. Materials here, you're going to be looking at carbon for the rim, alloy, or in some cases, carbon for the spokes. Hubs are going to be carbon again or a nice good quality alloy for your body depends steel alloy or titanium the bearings on stuff like this are going to be your super top quality ones they're going to spin really fast they're going to be a ceramic coated so last for a real long time as well these are the sort of wheels that you save for race day or if you've got the money just use them on training so you look really good in the coffee shop there we go, there's your buyer's guide for wheels. Hope it's have been some help for when you're next making your purchase at probikekit.com. We've got a whole range of other videos at our YouTube channel and you'll also find them at probikekit.com.